The tree to Sheffield is like the key to the city, with around 35,000 its green carpet so pretty. We cherish the roots planted so long ago, that coat our roads and make the journey pass less slow. Sun, rain or whatever the weather, the tree emerges better than ever. Festive season comes and it lights our home and our streets, the symbolic structure at Christmas when everything's reaped. But when the lights go off and the sun rises, once the greenest place in Europe the trees saw no crisis, 84% healthy makes the birds fly with wealth and not stealthy, the tree their home, their habitat and their throne. I suppose you didn't know about all the toxic gases we emit, but the tree absorbs them and gives us air, even on your road trip. So looking back at what Sheffield has inherited for so long, is a pension of running along with a desk in song. So if Bill, 57, from Broomhill, not Devon, was to draw a picture of him as a child, it would probably have blue skies and grass and trees that consist. Probably looking something like this. But, however, the tree is in trouble. 12,000 to be axed and that could even double. So a melody of buildings are popping up all around, but it's cracks in the pavement bringing the tree down. So the workmen say they're just taking orders, but would they remove someone from a lifelong headquarters? It's hard to believe that these money-saving trees are less important than the cement we walk on. And when a higher power swoops the profits up, the community feel like they're all fed up, yet they find an inner kindred fire to protest for the tree's rights and their desire. Corbin and Gove call for environmental vandalism, so let the arrest stop and keep track of the main vision. You'd have to be blind not to notice the people care, it's not despair, it's just that they want what's fair. 11,000 have signed for this cutting to stop, yet 5,000 have gone and more getting the chop. And whilst private firms are perpetrating a harmful act, replacing them with saplings is surely holding the inevitable back. So what can we do to keep the green light shining? We'll keep writing petitions and we'll keep on signing. Remember the role the tree plays for the road, absorbing the water and catching the snow. And when the sun eventually shines and the tourists are flocking, the tree is a symbol of navigational trotting, a symbol of what our Sheffield is all about, a sturdy structure like steel in which we'll never run out. The tree planted from the Victorian era, yet only just reaching adulthood, is it's dangerous or disordered. Yet we all know this isn't the case, so let's stop cutting. Because the tree, our tree, Sheffield's tree, is there to be embraced. Mm -hmm.